Uh, uh, first of all, this support was provided to me free of charge. I wasn't asked to review it unless I wanted to, unless I liked it. So there was no pressure there. It was just, we think you like it, and if you like it, say so. If you don't, then don't, or even say what you don't like. And Hi, so today I have the distinct pleasure of taking a look with you at a brand new guitar support that was sent to me uh, by Eric of Woodside Guitars. It's a brand new company. Let's see if you can see this here. Hope you can see that Woodside Guitars. A marked improvement, I think, on the Murata guitar support. Once you've decided that you've had enough putting your foot up on boxes or your guitar case or even footstools, then it's time to decide what kind of guitar support you'd like to have. And we review a lot of these over at nylonplux.com, so you ought to subscribe to this channel. Just hit that red subscribe button right there, and you'll be able to make sure not to miss a single one of our reviews from here on in. There are basically four major categories. And there are many, many suction-based guitar supports on the market, which have various advantages and disadvantages, as you might imagine. Um, a disadvantage of all of them, which I found out once I got my new guitar, is that in order for them to stick firmly, you really need a very non-porous surface on the sides of your guitar. You know, it's just like uh, anything else. When, you, when you're always thinking that ah, this may fall off uh, at any moment, I'm not sure how long it's been, you know, it, it, it just puts you on edge. And so I, for me, suction cup supports are really out, you know, now with my French polished guitar here. Uh, the second most common, or at least in terms of the uh, options available to you, are cushions. You can get various cushions that you sit your guitar on. And um, the advantages to these is that they're the less expensive ones. I mean, if you're looking for guitar support under $50, you know, mostly you're talking about cushions, some of the simpler suction-based guitar supports. So once we get above 50 bucks, uh, 75 bucks, then we're talking about, you know, the luxury suction-based guitar supports and two other types, uh, one based on clamps, and that's what this is an evolution of, or uh, guitar supports based on magnets. And uh, both of those uh, are, are very well liked by, by people that use them. Currently, perhaps the magnets a bit more because the current guitar support based on clamps is really only one that's, that's really worth getting that I know about prior to this, which is the Murata guitar support, which I had for many years. Um, when I had it, uh, which was before I had this guitar, and again, this guitar is an elevated fingerboard, which, you know, as you know, doesn't mean the fingerboard's elevated. What it really means is that the, the guitar becomes narrower at the top, so the fingerboard is relatively high. Well, the Murata guitar support wouldn't f doesn't fit on these at all. And in fact, to be honest, on my, uh, my old guitar, when I had the Murata guitar support, I was always trying to you know, mess around with the bottom part. Now, this is not a Murata guitar support. This is the current Woodside guitar support. And I always thought that, you know, I could, if I just knew what I was doing, I could change the angle of these, of these legs here so I could get a better fit in my guitar. Well, it turns out I was wrong. And, and so as much as I would pull and push and twist and all that, it just wasn't going to happen. It's not the way the Murata guitar support is built. Again, a good support, the only clamp support that I know of that's currently on the market that's, that's worth considering, but not fantastic, uh, not perfect for, uh, for a regular guitar and out of the question for an elevated fingerboard. So, enter the Woodside guitar support. Now, um, the Woodside guitar support does do those things that I had been hoping for uh, from the Murata guitar support. The other thing it does, uh, when, you, when you consider a Murata guitar support, what you'll hear if you listen to reviews, is that, you know, nice, sturdy, good materials, but you can't put it in your guitar case. So if that matters to you, you know, you're out of luck because it's, it's, one, it's a big piece, two big pieces. Well, what we have here is three pieces. And so because of that, 
uh, we can, you know, it easily collapse it down. Here are all the pieces. One, two, three. This is how it comes. And uh, easy to, to disassemble, easy to assemble. So let me do that for you. So what you do is you have this, this little ball joint here. It's, it fits in here, kind of like your, your upper leg fits into your hip, a ball joint. Uh, you just screw this on, zip, 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 until it's on. Tighten it up a little bit if you'd like. And then you have the base. Now, this folds down, or again, it folds up. And so then you can now uh, insert this here and you have, um, again, a bit of play. You can go from this height, I haven't measured it, you know, down to here, which may be enough or may not. Now I'm a short guy. This is great for me. I think that it's possible that if you're super tall or if you like your guitar neck really at a very steep angle, it, you know, this might not be, be, be tall enough for you. And, and uh, perhaps what uh, Woodside could consider would be a taller version. But, but again, I, I, I'm just speculating. Uh, it may well be that, uh, you know, that extended this is tall enough for any human being. I just don't know because I'm short. So I'm just going to leave it all the way down. So you, you tighten up this little wing nut here. So now this is in tight. And you're ready to stick it on, put it on your guitar. So let's do that. Just like the Murata, it goes, you know, right about the, the, on the top out of your guitar, right as it enters the, the skinny area there. And uh, so we'll do that. Here we go. Place it on there. And again, these, these, these legs move in. They just follow the contours perfectly. And once again, a clamp guitar, I mean, this, this is how guitars are made, right? I mean, you, you clamp guitars when, when, you're, when you're gluing them together. So this is the strongest part of the guitar. I mean, you can clamp this down pretty hard. Now, you don't have to because it has these rubber, rubber legs, uh, you know, the, the covering the, the metal parts. So you really don't have to worry about it. I just sort of finger tighten it. See, now I can't do it any further. Uh, another thing you could do if you're really concerned is, uh, I'm going to move it down a little bit just because I like it further down. Another thing you could do would be to take some of that cling vinyl and put it on your uh, guitar, on the front and the back of your guitar, and then you'd be tightening on the cling vinyl. Again, I don't think that's necessary, but, but it's certainly available to you. So that's it. We'll flip it over. And uh, this now is at the lowest attachment, and you see, uh, you know... For me, it's great. It's great. Now, uh, what this also has, which probably the Murata does too, I just don't remember now, is you have an, an enormous uh, numbers of deg degrees of freedom, I guess I'll call it. I'm, I'm not up on my mathematics, but, but basically, you know, you can rock this back and forth this way. You can, uh, you can twist it so if you like your, your, you know, if you like your fingerboard out at an angle, you can do that. Um, back at an angle, you can do that. It goes forward, it goes back. I mean, it's really uh, tremendous in terms of uh, the, the amount of, of, of adjustment that you can do with this uh, while you're playing on the fly. And you know, again, it's that ball joint uh, uh, that, that, that holds us together that enables you to do all these moves. And, and it's very smooth. I mean, this is made up uh, made of really top quality stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's an excellent build, excellent materials. Um, the velvet, yeah, good enough, good enough. I would say, you know, here's one weak point, but no, it's nice. And so, you know, this gives you enough friction. You don't have to use a, another kind of, uh, you know, shelf liner or whatever it is you use. So this is this is how it looks there. Now let me just, for the fun of it, pick this up to the top. Now it does pull all the way out if you want to do that, you know, if you do that. So there's no, you know, there's no set point that will allow you to get right to the end. You just have to do it. Okay, and uh, and so here we have it again. For me, you know, not not my thing, but but if you're tall, I mean, this could be just right for you, or if you like, you know, if you like this angle. So that's uh, that's my review here of this uh, really fantastic guitar support. And I, I think that once again, for me, magnets or clamps, and and I prefer, I really prefer the the clamps to magnets now. Why would that be? Well, some, some people, well, you have to put the magnets in. Now, again, now that I'm, 
I did that on, on a previous guitar. So you have to get in there, you have to find the right place, you have to put the magnets in. And, and you know, they, they, there are tricks for finding exactly the right location and the right angle, but you do, you don't worry about that a little bit. What if I screw it up? If you do, you have time to adjust it, but once they're really in there, it's, it's kind of hard. It's really hard to, to, you know, move them around and readjust them. Um, the second thing is some people feel the magnets are very strong. When you put your support on, it really snaps to the guitar. And so, you know, once again, you could use vinyl if that was, that was a problem for you. The other thing is oh, these, <laughs> these are really strong magnets. So just, just personally, this is totally personal because not many people have this issue. Uh, if you happen, like I do, to like to wear mechanical watches, you know, ones you wind up or ones that are automatic, uh, this will ruin it. It'll magnetize your watch. They're very powerful magnets. So for me, you know, I really like this clamp option. And, uh, and this clamp support, this Woodside Guitars clamp support, is a major improvement over the Murata support, which, as I've said, is really the only other mechanical clamp support that I think is, is even maybe even available on the market, but certainly the only one worth using. So that's, again, my review. Uh, you ought to head over to nylonplux.com. We review lots of things there, strings, guitars, guitar supports. And uh, uh, we have reviewed several other guitar supports, and you can find that at nylonplux.com slash supports. So thanks for listening, and um, I hope you enjoy it.